What's up guys, we're back with another disassembly today. We're gonna to be taking apart the Nokia 9 Peer View. First thing as always, go ahead and remove the SIM tray. Next, you're gonna to wanna to heat the back of the phone up so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath it. And I already took this off once, so it's gonna be fairly simple for me, but just to let you guys know, there's a lot of adhesive underneath this one, and it took me quite a long time to pry that off. So once you do heat up the back, you're gonna need a plastic pry tool preferably so you don't damage any of the frame. And if you need to, you can use a suction tool to put it on the back plate of the phone and pull up so you could have some leverage on the corner to stick your pry tool in. All right, so once you got your pry tool in, you're gonna work your way around the edges of the phone. All right, so once you got the back pried off, just pull it off. Put that aside. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of adhesive all around. There's a thick layer over here on the bottom, and there's some around the phone all the way to the top, and there's some in the middle over here. All right, next, you have 13 Phillips screws you need to remove throughout the phone. Go ahead and remove those. All right, once you removed all the screws, there's a black plastic piece over here. You're gonna slide that over, slide it in like that. And there's a connector underneath it over here, which you're gonna have to disconnect. Now, if you could get a tool, a plastic tool to fit in there to disconnect that, go ahead. But I find it easier to just pry this black piece over here up a little bit and give me some leverage. I'm gonna take my pry tool. I'm gonna start prying off this black cover over here. That's also holding the wireless charging pad. But be careful, there's a cable over here, you don't want to cut it. Or right, once you got some room, you can disconnect the cable underneath. And then go ahead and pry the rest off. Get some of this adhesive off over here. So here's the back, here's that cable over here that connects right over here on the motherboard. All right, next you're gonna disconnect the battery cable over here. Just pop it up. All right, now we're gonna remove this black plastic piece down here, which holds the speaker assembly. There's some catches around you have to pop up. All right, now we're gonna disconnect the camera cables. Three of them say mono, and these two say RGB on the cables. Next, go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables on the board. There's one over here. Pop that off. 
There's also a liquid damage indicator over here. And there's one over here. And there's another liquid damage indicator down here. Disconnect that cable over there. There's one over here. Pop that off. And you got two down here. And next there's a film over the vibrator motor and the front facing camera you need to remove. Peel that off. And then go ahead and disconnect your front facing camera. And remove that. Alright, next go ahead and disconnect this cable down here. Now you have five more Phillips screws you need to remove. You got two silver ones over here. You got one black one here, a black one there, and a black one down here. Go ahead and remove those screws. All right, next you're gonna remove the main board. You're gonna start from the bottom. Lift it up, make sure the cable doesn't get stuck. Here's the back of the board. There's some thermal paste here and here, which make contact with the vapor chamber down here. And also to the metal frame over here. So let me give you guys a closer look at that. All right, in order to remove the cameras, if you wanted to, they're all attached to this metal piece down here. That's in the shape of a T. There's like a metal bracket underneath it. It's really hard to get it out, it's difficult, it takes quite a bit of time. So I'm not gonna take it out again, but basically you're gonna push down on the cameras. And then once you have leverage, you have to move the board and wiggle it around as you work your way out with the cables, each one one by one. And then getting it in the same way, you're gonna have to move the board around a little bit, give you some room and work your cables back through the slots. So I'm just gonna leave that in for now. All right, next, in order to remove the battery, it has adhesive underneath it, so you're gonna have to pry that off. So at this point, you can see the entire vapor chamber over here. And now in order to remove the charger port over here on the bottom, it's on a flex cable right here which also holds the microphone on the bottom down here. There's a Phillips screw over here you have to remove. Go ahead and remove that screw. All right, once you remove the screw, you're gonna to wanna to pry up this flex cable over here.
Here's the charger port assembly. And this would be your microphone right here. All right, so at this point you're left with the mid frame. You got your vibrator motor over here, your ears piece speaker up here on the top, and you also got the screen that's attached on the front. Here's your fingerprint reader over here, and it comes over here, the cable for it right here, and your screen cable is right down here. Now, I honestly don't know how good of a thing it is to have the vapor chamber heat and stuff dispersed underneath the battery itself, but I guess they know what they're doing, supposedly. And in order to remove the screen, you're gonna have to heat the screen up and pry from the mid frame. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and reassemble the phone. We're gonna go ahead and put the charger port back in first. All right, next we're gonna put the main board back in. Make sure your cables don't get stuck underneath. All right, next go ahead and connect the cables. Next, we're gonna put the front facing camera back in. Now we're gonna put the screw for the charger port flex down here. All right, we're gonna put the motherboard screws back in. All right, next we're gonna put the speaker assembly back in. Now we're gonna put the battery back. We're gonna connect the battery cable back to the main board. All right, now we're gonna take this top assembly. We're gonna connect that cable back to the main board over here. And we're gonna pop this back in place. All right, now put all your screws back and go ahead and screw them back in place. All right, next, if you need to apply some new adhesive around the frame of the phone and go ahead and put your back plate back over. Go ahead and power on the phone. And you're done.